This video is about rational algebraic expressions for 8th graders. 8th graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as smooth and easy as possible. Use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Therefore, you need a separate sheet of paper and a pen in answering the exercises. Don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to the other activities included in this module. What I know is the pretest in each module that checks what you already know about the lesson to take. Read the instructions carefully before doing each task. Observe honesty and integrity in doing the tasks and checking your answers. Finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next, one at a time only. To maximize your learning and deeply comprehend with the lesson, please pause and replay this video as needed. Now, you are ready. Here is what you need to know. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to define a rational algebraic expression and identify a rational algebraic expression. So, what's in? For activity 1, which is which, choose the polynomials among the pool of expressions below. We have x cubed plus 4x plus 2, 2x plus 5 over 7x, x squared minus 1 over 2 minus 1, 2x squared plus 4x plus 9 over 1 minus 1, 2x squared plus 4x plus 9 over 2x squared plus 2x plus 3, 3 over y plus 3, and 7x minus 8. Now before that, let's recall what is a polynomial. A polynomial means many terms, or more than two algebraic terms, especially the sum of several terms that contain different powers of the same variables. For example, 21 b to the fourth power plus 7b cubed plus negative 35b squared plus negative 70. Alright, let's go back. x cubed plus 4x plus 2. Is it a polynomial? Yes, it is. What about 2x plus 5 over 7? No, it's not. Very good. What about x squared minus 1 over 2 minus 1? Perfect. Here we have the next 2x squared plus 4x plus 9 over 1 minus 1. Very good. Now, we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 9 over 2x squared plus 2x plus 3. You got it! What about 3 over y plus 3? Sounds good! And the last one is 7x minus 8. That's perfect! In activity 1, which is which, you were able to identify the expressions which are polynomials and which are not polynomials. Take note that all polynomials are algebraic expressions, but not all algebraic expressions are polynomials. So, what do you call 
those expressions which are not polynomials. Now, what's new? Compare the two expressions. Expression 1, x squared minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And expression 2, 2x plus 5 over 7x. Now, what is the difference between expression 1 and expression 2? Now, let us take a look at the denominators. The denominator of expression 1 is a constant. You see, 2 minus 1 is 1. And the denominator of expression 2 has a variable, x, 7x, which is a polynomial, which is not. Is it expression 1 or expression 2? Good job! Expression 1 is a polynomial, while expression 2 is not a polynomial. So, what do you call an expression which is not a polynomial? Well, let's find that out in the next part of the video. What is it? An expression which is not a polynomial is what we call the rational algebraic expression. So, how do you describe rational algebraic expression? A rational algebraic expression is a fraction in which the numerator and the denominator are polynomials and the value of any variable will not make the denominator equal to zero. In symbols, we have p over q, where p and q are polynomials, and q is not equal to zero. Now let's give our brains a little workout. Which of the following are rational algebraic expressions and which are not? We have four numbers here. Let's have number 1. Z squared over Z plus 1. Think, think, think. Very good. It is a rational algebraic expression because the numerator is a monomial, meaning one term, and the denominator is a binomial, meaning two terms. So both the numerator and the denominator are polynomials. Good job! How about number 2? 2y over 4d to the power of negative 3. Think, think, think. Good job! It's not a polynomial because the denominator here, look at my mouse, has a negative exponent, which does not make it a polynomial. What about number 3? 7x plus 5. Again, think, think, think. Perfect! It is a rational algebraic expression because the denominator is equal to 1. Now, you might ask, where is the denominator? The same as with your whole number, if a whole number does not have a denominator, of course, because it is a whole number, then automatically it has a denominator of 1. Same goes for your rational algebraic expressions. If it does not have a denominator, then automatically the denominator is equal to 1. Very good. Now, let's have the last example b squared minus 3 over b minus square root of 7. Again, think, think, think. Excellent! It, it is not a rational algebraic expression. Why? Because there is a radical expression in the denominator, the square root of 7. Again, you can pause 
and replay this video as needed. You want more? What's more? Activity 2. Am I rational? Write RAE if the expression below represents a rational algebraic expression and NRAE if it does not on a separate sheet of paper. We have z squared over z plus 1, 3x plus 2, b squared over b minus square root of 3, square root of c squared plus f squared. 4x over 4, y to the power of negative 3, 5 over a plus square root of d, y over 2x plus 1, negative 16, y squared. And we have y squared plus 3y plus 2 over y plus 2. Now again, please submit your work on time. Can I count on you? Thank you very much. Now here is what you need to remember. A rational algebraic expression is a fraction of polynomials with the symbol P over Q, where P as the numerator and Q as the denominator are polynomials. And Q must not be equal to zero. Sounds good? Thank you very much for watching and listening. Once again, if I will tell you, you can forget it. If I will teach you, you may remember it. But if you get involved, then you will learn. This has been your teacher, Miss Mary-Kate. Get involved and keep on learning.